Meet Neil. Like his ancestors before him, he is an eastern fence lizard. It's springtime in the New Jersey Pinelands and Neil just woke up from hibernation. The weather is wonderful and love is in the air. Just like all the other fence lizards in town, Neil wants to find a mate. Neil hopes he has what it takes to seduce a female. He tries not to think about it, but this spring may be his last chance to find love and spread his seed. In order to find his mate-to-be, Neil needs a special boost. That boost is testosterone. Every spring, testosterone peaks in the male fence lizard to help them on their journey of love. Testosterone is a male sex hormone that increases their coloration, enhances their endurance, and promotes more activity. Even though testosterone makes lizards like Neil a more competitive mate, not all fence lizards express the same amount of testosterone. During his journey, Neil travels far and wide, searching for his mate. All that testosterone helps Neil stay more active and makes him more colorful and attractive to females. But this increase in activity also exposes him more frequently to predators. That was a close call, Neil. Testosterone has another costly effect on the male fence lizard. It weakens their immune system, which makes Neil more susceptible to ectoparasites like ticks and mites. Neil doesn't know why, but every time he takes a testosterone boost, he finds himself covered in parasites. Thanks to his superior genetics, Neil has a strong immune system and manages to survive the infestation to continue on his journey. In the distance, Neil spots Sally, a beautiful female fence lizard. But Neil must face one final obstacle before he can court her. The rival male fence lizard, Barry, is also vying for the heart and eggs of Sally. It will be an epic battle of color displays, push-ups, and perhaps physical clashes. Male fence lizards use color to display to rival males their overall health and good genes. Males use push-ups to show off their endurance and strength. If neither of these things work, then it may come to fisticuffs. Meanwhile, Sally intently watches to judge which suitor will win her heart and eggs. Sally may have found her one true love. It seems that Neil's journey has come to a successful end. He could never have made it without testosterone. Neil has endured multiple challenges that increased testosterone brings, but the taste of victory is sweet, and it was all worth it. Neil has won the battle for Sally's love, and he will pass on his genes to many little fence lizards.